um, we'd rather continue working on those than even attempt to start addressing that part okay. today. That's fine. Yes, Your Honor, we're going to wait to file our motion in limine because we are working with the state and we want to make sure we're not wasting the court's time. Okay, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> sure. And I meant to bring this up earlier today, I'm sorry. Um, I have a client in that's scheduled for a bond hearing at 2. I have another attorney coming in uh, with the court's permission to sit with Mr. Stilwell briefly for about 15 minutes while I conduct a bond hearing, if that's okay with your honor. It's on Zoom. Is it okay with Mr. Stilwell? Mr. Stilwell, I, I, he usually works with me. <laughs> Can you say yes? So is that, it's fine with you if he takes a brief break? Okay, well, <clears throat> obviously hurry back because you seem to be the main person making a lot of the evidentiary arguments, so. Um, whether thug is a reason that people went after them, meaning that there was this. Um, Why, whatever that incident fight. was, yes. occurred. Okay. So, you know, to me, and I'm doing, I think, what the court wants, but this will never come up on a question answer because no one's going to say to Detective Gaither, I would hope, did you ask about Jeffrey Williams to Mr. Kendrick? It wouldn't happen like that, but that's the first one. Okay. Well, then maybe we can nip that one in the bud. So there is, uh, if, if Mr. Steele would not mind just letting that part play from 49 okay. so that we could. There's no part that I hear Mr. Williams' name mentioned in there. Um, I didn't hear Thug or Mr. Williams' name mentioned, so I wasn't, I don't. Okay, well, let's just ask it this way. Do you have any intention of ask? who's this coming in through? Um, there would be either Detective um, Thorpe, probably Detective Thorpe later on. Is he even in this interview? He's right there in front of you. To the left. Oh, okay. I thought you had said Dennis and Gaither. It, but... Dennis and Gaither are sitting in front of Mr. Kendrick. And Detective Thorpe is, is to his also right. in there. He okay. Is. All right. There are three. So, I mean, you're not going to ask Detective Thorpe if Gaither asked if Williams was a reason why 
No. Okay, so that not. would be one then. This example would be one where you could say, we don't intend to ask that anyway. Okay, so <laughs> we do not intend to elicit or ask whether the okay. defendant Williams was... All right, well, let's whatever circumvent spending the five minutes listening to it if you know you're not going to use it anyway, okay? That would be super helpful. Okay, next. But so when, again, this is one of those them, us, we, them situations. It is simply not one of those situations where we would be saying, you know, are they coming after y'all because of thug? Are they coming after you because of thug? We wouldn't be eliciting anything about another defendant. But if Mr. Kendrick is talking about a us and a them, like he is in this circumstance, they want to take my spot, things like that, then we would be putting that in. The reason I was saying it's a, we're looking at it in terms of Bruton mm -hmm. is because if they're not, if he's not talking about a defendant and he's not saying that person's name and inculpating him, then we, it's something that we, will likely use if there's a point at which I know that I'm just not going to even touch it. I'll do as the court has instructed though. If you know, and say, no, I'm not even, I wasn't even going to ask that anyway. It doesn't do us any good. Okay. So then what I hear you saying is that while you're not going to elicit that somebody asked if Mr. Williams or thug might be a reason people are after them, you would maybe ask about some part of Mr. Kendrick's answer there, which said something about they, whoever they is, wanting to take my spot. Yes. Okay. And that we contend is not Bruton. That would not be Bruton. So he does not um, say that Mr. Stillwell um, bought the gun. He does not say anything that directly inculpates Mr. Stillwell. And my understanding is that Bruton does not prohibit the mentioning of... Right. Let me just hear it. I see this is the way it's going to go. And this is before buying the gun for what? What are we talking about here? Oh, I'm sorry. Anybody? Um... So one of the he was stopped with a gun on in October and one on January twenty eighth, and he's talking. They're talking about those the guns that he had in those situations. January twenty eighth and October first of twenty fifteen. All right, and these are overt acts, or are they? Yes, okay. one is one is an in transit January twenty eighth. Okay. All right, go ahead. pretty inculpatory of another defendant. Did you buy it after you talked to this person? As if, no. Okay. Don't you, don't. Leave that part out. That yeah. one's out. Okay. Next. It's, it's right after that, but it's the same thing, Your Honor. Okay. Now it's Mr. Kendrick speaking about Mr. Stillwell. He includes Mr. Arnold as well to clarify what Detective Dennis just said about the that's at 5251. Hey, Judge. Just um, to go back just a bit, he wasn't saying that Shannon told him to buy the gun. He was orienting Mr. Kendrick as to a, a conversation with Shannon. It wasn't saying that Shannon tell you to buy the gun. It, so it wasn't inculpating Shannon. I think that it may be helpful to hear beyond before the part that they started on. It's like, 
did you talk to Ms. Hilton? Yes. Did you buy the gun after you talked to Ms. Hilton? Yes. But it wasn't, it has nothing to do with Ms. Hilton told me to buy the gun. Well, I mean, unless you can make it really clear that all that's doing is orienting him in time to something, but to, to have the question be in front of the jury that is, okay, you had this gun that you got in trouble for. Did you buy it after you talked to one of your co-defendants? Okay. Just seems too brutal-ish to me to permit, and the state ought to want to try a clean case. We do. So that's fine. That, we don't. That have would to not be clean. In. Okay. Go ahead. Next one. Fifty-two, fifty. You should. You should. Yeah. You should back it up. This should be Mr. Kendrick. Mr. Kendrick bringing up Mr. Stilwell and Mr. Arnold about clarifying the answer that we, you were just discussing, although I think that's out, actually. So it's really 54 minutes we can go to, and that should be Mr. Kendrick. And he mentions Mr. Copeland, Duke, or Mr. Arnold, and Rich Homie Kwan, Mr. Lamar, and Mr. Stilwell, and he doesn't want to uh, be associated with them. So we ask that Mr. Stilwell's name be redacted. All right, well, I'll listen to it. Okay, give me enough so that I can hear the context of why he said it. from them and then say it in my name, I think that's a brutal issue. So um, would you understand the, if you do intend to ask about this? Would not have the name and share his name? Correct. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Can I just bring up another concern on this uh -huh. subject? The concerns aren't list, limited to Bruton. Um, I still, like, we're, we're talking about playing a tape where Mr. Kendrick says that other people are saying, he's not saying anything that he knows he's not telling on anyone, but he's saying other people are saying yeah. that our crew and uh, Shannon and Woody, and they're talking about uh, taking Shannon's name out of it, which of course I'm in favor of, but I'm not even. Yeah, no, sure. I agree. I That's mean, a little weird that the state's evidence would be, well, I mean, <laughs> here's what the rumor on the street is. Right. So I, I bet Ms. Rowland going to say, we're not intending to elicit that. Exactly. Judge, the point is not, and we can tailor the questioning and the sh presentation of evidence to, you know, not include Okay, well, I mean, I, I suspect the reason they're asking that now is because when we just went over that example, 
you thought that the only, and, and you may have just been saying the only part that I believe is Bruton is this part where somebody is specifically mentioned and that's fair. But if you don't intend to use any of that portion of the tape anyway, or get a question and answer that would elicit that information, then it would be helpful if you would say that because there's no point in us, you know, spending time on something that the state doesn't intend to use anyway. So to speak to that example, for instance, I might ask um, the detective uh, a question that, um, did you talk to Mr. Kendrick um, about um, the Donovan Thomas murder? Okay, that answer would be yes. Yes. Um, did, um, generally speaking, you know, what, Let me ask you this. Do you think that it's relevant for the jury to hear that, you know, Mr. Kendrick said, well, here's what the story on the street is right now? No, that part I don't. I don't think that that part, that part about, you know, the people on the street think X, Y, Z is relevant. The next one, Your Honor, we are going to, uh, I believe it's including your honorable court's ruling. It's approximately 1 colon 25 39 detective Gaither asked Mr. Kendrick how long Mr. Williams was in Miami and he answers a couple of weeks so I assume that your court said that that's not inculpatory so I'm moving on all right the next one is it's a visual so if they're not showing the video at this it won't matter all right but detective Dennis points to the photograph of Mr. Stillwell and says he's all about that action and they're talking about shooting people they're talking about um violence so you may have to hear that but uh, and see it, but that's we would object to that. You're not going to use that? All right. States agrees. Well, they don't agree it's Bruton, but they're not going to be using it. Okay. okay. The next one um, is Detective Thorpe. It's at 1, colon 33, colon 55. Mentions uh, Mr. Williams and... Um, how Detective Thorpe heard that people went to Mr. Williams' home after the killing of Donovan Thomas. You may have re ruled because of the um, the way you treated the rental car that that's not Bruton, but that's what I flagged. All right. Um, do you think I need to hear it, or is it pretty much? That's pretty much it. Okay. Yep. That would not be Bruton. All right. Is everybody ready? Everybody got it up? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, slide one. I don't see how the state could possibly need that slide. Um, no, that's not. No, I mean, it's not. No. Okay. Slide one's out. Slide two. What? This is just sort of. Uh, identifiers that APD has identified and all right hadn't there already been testimony about that there has there has yes. been testimony about snakes and tattoos and red flags yes okay so that one's out too if you say it is it is huh? <laughs> just, I mean just, it, just to make sure we're, we're all on the same page slide what you're referring to as slide number two is the picture that has an arm with a tattoo yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which also, coincidentally, is the second slide in the attachment. That's what I'm going by. All right. Just didn't want to make sure you weren't looking right. at the title page. And then okay. We're on the same page. All right. Literally. <laughs> okay. Good. Um. All right. Slide number three. What's y'all's argument for needing that? Okay. We can. Because we've still got some language on all of this, too. So we can take out, well, the, uh, we can take out all the language. Mm -hmm. We can take out all the language. Okay. What about these five pictures? So 
the pitcher's judge or just um, as he's talking, um, he would. All right. So who are the, I mean, I see we've got. Defendant Williams. Mr. Williams, Rich Homie Kwan. Birmingham. Are, are there pictures already in evidence of yes. those three people? Yes. Then use the pictures already in evidence. Out at the bottom two, who are they? Uh, Donovan Thomas is on the far right side. Is that a, is there a picture of him already in evidence? Um, yes. There is a picture of him in evidence. All right, use that. What's the, the middle fifth one? And the... This is Defendant Williams. Um, and pre as as Sarah, pre that. the gang, pre the dispute, the the war. The okay. I, I mean, is there a picture similar to that that if he needs to identify people or a group of people he could use? Yes. Numerous. If the state would educate me on the relevance of Mr. Stillwell's posting there. Okay. What so they think it means, because I mean, all right, I, I'm not gleaning too much from it. Okay, there's a relevance objection. All right. So, Judge, we are alleging that Mr. Stillwell is a member of and a participant in a criminal street gang and a criminal enterprise known as YSL. Um, his donning of these red bandanas, one on his right hand and one over his head, um, and his use of welcome to be that red bee with the red heart, um, day paradise um, on March 28, 2015, during the year or the relevant time of this back and forth that was going on are all relevant to um, the allegations made in the indictment. So with relevance being Your Honor, the I'm bar just, that I'm, I'm it misspoke. is. Hang on, hang on, don't interrupt. I, I'm withdrawing. With, with, oh, um, okay. I, I, miss, I misspoke. I thought they were saying that Mr. St someone replied to Mr. Stillwell, and I okay, thought they no, were no, saying no. that was his She's post. She's taken all that off. Okay. All right. I'm good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I think that's a hundred percent anyway, not a heart. I had to get my glasses out for that one, but I, could, I think oh. the argument would be the same. Okay. So that, that objections withdrawn long as, yeah, you just need with all of these to take off the comments at same with 89. Yes. Um, any issue otherwise to 89 LL or 90 LL. Well, 90 LL is a, not a photo, it's a video. Any objection to either of those? No, Your Honor, as long as they uh, keep my client's comment on that, on that exhibit as well. Where he sarcastically says we beef in mocking the idea that there's gang rivalries. Are we talking about 90 LL? We're talking about 80, 89 LL, right? Okay. His client says um, dripping through Cali with some real ends at Yad Gotti with that red B. Um, his client is not listed under the six comments. Um, Judge, I think it's best if we just play this okay. one. Slam. Why is it? Crip killer. <laughs> That's Mr. Williams' voice. Um, Based on? Directing. Let's not interrupt each other, please. Directing this child to throw up these gang signs. Okay. So that's what we do. So are you going to have some kind of a, either somebody familiar with Mr. Williams' voice to say that's him or a voice analyst to say that's him? We would have someone that we believe is familiar enough with his voice to say that that's him. Okay. Well, we'll see. On behalf of Mr. Stillwell, we're going to ask for a limiting instruction uh, if, if that's admitted. All right. 
provide a uh, proposed one, please. On behalf of Mr. Williams, Your Honor, mm -hmm. what is the import of this? So I understand it's prejudicial because a person may think that a, a young child using what I what I would consider gang language with, with their hand signs mm -hmm. may be um, inappropriate, but why would this matter here? The lyrics are coming in. Mr. Williams is constantly changing the letter B to, um, or letter C to a B, like instead of Cleveland Avenue, Cleveland Avenue, there's a whole bunch of lyrics that Judge Glanville let in. There are, um, Tattoos on Mr. Williams' body that has already come in that shows the letter B and um, alleged other supposed gang symbols. They have introduced, they being the court has admitted into evidence exhibits showing um, things like a green snake or an emoji with a B on it. Um, I just don't understand why the child is an important part of this mission to find the truth here and Mr. Williams' voice. I find it to be wholly, wholly prejudicial, and I find the probative value to be scant. Oh, my God, man. These prosecutors are at it again, bro. I'm like At this point, I'm just like, that's their only defense, bro. They got to be their only defense, my dog, because... Why are y'all bringing up all this? Like, okay, get the real people in there. You're not even looking for evidence from this lady that said this, this lady that had a video, this guy that had a video that seen why I sell such and such, shoot such and such, and he, none of that. They really trying to go off of old ass Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube videos at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, and on top of that, they, all right, so we finally see Yad Gotti's interrogation. It was, it was talks of Yad Gotti. I ain't gonna say that people. Well, people were saying he was snitching. He took a plea. They, I remember they originally said it was an interrogation. So we got to see a piece of that today, which um, I don't know what y'all think. Y'all think Yak was snitching, or I didn't really hear him say any like name names, but he was like talking a little bit too much, bro. Like, what's up with these niggas talking to the police? Like they. The gang, like, nigga, you telling them the inner workings. Like, who beefing with who? You they shouldn't even know that. You don't get along with Woody. You heard Yak say, I don't, I don't fuck with him. Yeah, and Woody said it on the stand. I tried to kill Yak, and Yak wanted to kill me, da 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 da. And, but he, but come on, Yak, man. Y'all in there. I, I'm telling you, if I'm thug, bro, if I come from under this thing how I want to, you know, without doing any time or the just the only time that I did sitting up fighting this case, I'm disbanding YSL. I'm changing it to, you know how Gucci did the new 1017 or I'm doing something like a spinoff of that. That's all like artists and I don't want no, I don't even know if I could trust any y'all niggas no more. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, like I said, Wack didn't, Wack. Yak, God, he didn't really snitch, but why is you talking so much, bro? Yeah, I was getting into it with them and, you know, that's why I won't. Bro, y'all know y'all don't have to say shit, right? Like. Give me a lawyer. He was he had Fulton County Rice Street clothes on. Nigga, where my lawyer at? Why y'all bring him? Even if they called him off the off the tier or off the floor, off the pod, and want to ask some random questions. Nigga, I don't, these niggas is going there just talking. You know what I'm saying? Thank God it wasn't as bad as little Woody. What we seen Yak did, but Yak, that was a too you was too talkative on that one. I fuck with Yak got it. That was too talkative, bro. But you see, that's what happened when you trying to. It's a bunch of different people that don't really know each other, or sometimes they do know each other, but they're not in co co cahoots. You know what I'm saying? Like, and realistically, Young Thug can control all them niggas. They grown men. Young, young Thug might have wanted everybody to be unified, but realistically, when you got a team or a squad or a gang or a clique, sometimes it's going to be internal beats, bro. That's why it's best to keep your circle small, nigga, like five people, nigga, six maybe. And y'all only got to be together all day, every day. But when you're having 30 and 40 and 50 niggas and 60 niggas in the whole, everybody gonna get along. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, they go back to, I don't know, I really don't feel like that was Thug talking, that was showing the kid how to, he telling the kid to throw a Crip killer, and I'm like, 
But I mean, them niggas is bloods, and I'm pretty sure that's old because um, Doug ended up fucking with, you know, Nipsey and Sign and Gunner and fucking with Duke. So I hope he wasn't hanging with them niggas and pushing that Crip Killer shit. But I don't think so. I think that's way before them niggas even linked up, linked up. But Doug was like, that. that's going to make him look bad, like, to the, just to the, um, to the jury. You, you teaching all these little kids gang signs. That's like the second little kid. I don't know if that was the same one, but that's the second video I seen him teaching kids how to throw up blood and all this type of shit there. Like, another crazy day, man, day 116, man. Y'all just let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this new evidence and uh, these new tactics that the um, state is applying, getting all this throwback evidence as far as social media. And let me know, because we let's just clarify this shit. I don't think so, but y'all let me know. Do y'all consider what Yak Gotti did snitching or not? I mean, he didn't really tell anything. I mean, he didn't say no names, but I just feel like if you're living that life, man, you just got to zip it up, man. You can't even, but y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this, man. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. I'm gone. Yo. Yeah.